I don't even know what I'm doing in this video. I'm literally just talking. Literally just talking. Okay. Hey y'all, I told y'all it was going to be quick. I was coming with the install review of my Halo Lady Hair Company from AliExpress Hair. This is just, my edges aren't laid right now because I'm about to do a whole bunch of tutorials on how to style a frontal. So that's why my edge is not laid. I kind of, this I woke up like this. Well, not like this. Yeah, I got on makeup in a video. What? Alice got on makeup in a video. I'm going to go ahead and start with the initial um, install review. I've had this hair in for maybe about three days and it's doing really well. Um, there is a good amount of shading though, but I knew that from the jump. I was going to seal my webs, but I didn't have time. So, you know, I knew it was shading from the jump when I first got the hair after I co-washed it, trying to run my fingers through it. I got a few strands and then I was just like oh no I, I should really seal my lips then I went to the beauty supply bought bleach to uh, bleach my closure and forgot web sealer and my hair couldn't wait so you know the shedding the sh I can deal with some shedding right now it's in its natural state it is a little bit on the poofy side but that is only because I'm about to do all these hairstyles and I really need my hair combed out to do all the braids and things that I'm about to do so I really need my hair combed out but in its natural state when if you just wash it like with some conditioner maybe co-wash it it does get a really not tight curl but a really tamed curl so that's good and the hair is really good I've been getting a lot of compliments on this hair like a lot like everybody who wear weave who I pass by they just like what texture is that like what what brand is that who did that so you know here I am on YouTube telling y'all who did it and if you want to see all of the specs of the hair like how much I paid and things like that I'll leave it down in the description bar and I'll also leave my initial unboxing review down in the description bar as well um so yeah that's about it what I have to say I will be saying more as we go along in this how-to video so stick around and see what else I gotta say about this hair yeah first things first I'm just gonna show you the products I'm using my eco styler gel a spray bottle filled with just water and a baby hairbrush aka just a toothbrush I'm also using a rat tail comb with the metal tip at the end I really prefer the metal tip because it really gets those precise parts going and as you can see my frontal was just behind my hairline so I'm just gonna pull that up a little bit So the first hairstyle we're going to start off with is this side braid going into a half up half down look. I wear this hairstyle to work a lot because it's really easy and if you don't have time to like super lay your baby hairs then it's really easy to just throw this braid in and the braid what it does is it covers the line of demarcation from the frontal so all of the front of my hair is going to be covered by this. You're not really going to be able to tell that there's a frontal right there if you don't have time and what I'm gonna do is I'm just braiding along there and pulling down pieces as I go to cover that line a little bit more on the other side I'm just gonna basically do the same exact thing do a little braid going toward the back and then pin it with some bobby pins if you can see my little braid was poking out there a little bit I filmed this video before I put my frontal on the elastic band that I have it on now. The sewing method did work for maybe about a week, but then after a week my hair kind of started to recede. My hair grows really fast. So I decided to go ahead and put my frontal on the elastic band method and that is holding up perfectly now. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little gel on those baby hairs, a little eco styler gel, really blending that my real hairline in with the frontal hairline in with the fake baby hairs that are made in with the real baby hairs. So basically a lot of blending is going on here. Do, 
And if I was going somewhere, I would actually tie my hair down after this step just to make sure those baby hairs lay down perfectly. But you know, this is just a how-to video, so didn't need to do all that. Now I'm just unraveling that braid to do another one of my fave hairstyles, which is the flip over. This is how I wore my hair the first maybe couple of days I had it in. Just in this like flip over one eye cover type hairstyle. And I'm going to take that comb and I'm going to part down the middle. I'm just showing you guys how a simple middle part looks with this frontal and this hair. Looks really big, got a whole Diana Rossi thing going on here. But I really like it actually. We're going to just give Diana Ross some good old baby hairs right now. Transitioning into the next hairstyle, I'm just going to do two braids coming off that middle part. It's another one of those kind of um, half up, half down looks, but I'm actually going to just stop a little bit before I get around my head, so it's kind of like a half braid, if that makes sense. And as you can see, my hair did start snagging up a little bit. <laughs> it was a little struggle there for a minute. But my hair was just dry because I hadn't had any product on it for a while. And I'm just going to blend those baby hairs in a little bit more. And it's really cute. I love this hairstyle. It looks like a halo effect, which I really love. And look, where's the frontal? You can't even tell it's a frontal. What's a frontal? After I undid those two braids, I just finger combed out my hair a little bit more and just sprayed it with a little water. Make sure it can easily move into this next hairstyle, which is everyone's favorite hairstyle. The two braids going down the back of the head. I have to say I'm super fond of this hairstyle as well. And what I'm doing as I go along is I'm just pulling down those pieces again just to cover that edge line of demarcation. And if you can see, my braid of my real hair is really peeking out there. I just want to show you guys that it's all fixed now that I have it on the elastic band method. If you do have a hairline like mine, which um, the sides of your hair really kind of protrude out and there's nothing you can really do, I would suggest the elastic band method because the sewing method is kind of hard to keep those edges. I also decided to leave out a little bit of the back of my hair just in case I wanted to put it in a high ponytail or anything like that. So I do have my leave out back there and my leave out is braided up. Well, semi braided up. I got one. Why I opt to braid my leave out when I'm not using it is because there's no sense in damaging your hair when you're not using it. So if my hair is down or something like that, I'll just bobby pin that leave out braid up. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial, including my frontal. Um, I did have like a couple more hairstyles. They were kind of more elegant, but I was really feeling like the two braids like look. So I was like, I'm gonna just keep this. And maybe I'll make another like elegant hairstyles video. Cause those are really just everyday hairstyles. I had a couple work hairstyles in there. Oh, and how I said in the um, initial unboxing review, that the hair didn't feel like a Peruvian. It feels more of a Peruvian texture now. After I took it out, I deep conditioned it. I put it in the microwave with the conditioner. I used the I used the organics conditioner. I'm not sure exactly which one right now. I'll put it in the description bar below. But yeah, so I put it in the microwave for maybe like 30 seconds. I did that with the frontal and with the bundles and it really softened up like the hair really came to life and it really started feeling like that silky peruvian texture after that so 
I do recommend that if you're gonna get this hair, always, always condition your hair before you put it in, but always, but I don't always deep condition my hair before I put it in with the whole microwave thing. And if you've ever done that to weave, you know that works. I haven't had any problems with the curl pattern yet. This is still like the install review, you know? So we'll see, we'll see how the hair holds up. The only problems I would say is a few bits of tangling here and there, and of course the shedding. Shedding, like, yeah, it sheds. But I take that as a minor con to this greatly proed hair. The curl pattern on this hair is beautiful. The texture on this hair is beautiful. The frontal, beautiful. The price was beautiful. But I'm gonna stop rambling now. So if you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comments and I will answer them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys later, bye bye. Leave it in the comments below. Mm -hmm.